Barbara Liss, Montana Bliss Artworks. Thanks for joining me in the Concrete Sculpting Studio today as I show you how I am going to mix up a small batch of Peltaya, which is how I'm working. Even though it's a nine foot dragon, the scales are very time consuming and only using, mixing one cup of product at a time um, keeps it at the right moisture content for me to work. Looks just like Portland cement, but do you see all the little fibers in it? That's what makes it strong. And a third of a cup of water. And I'm gonna cover this until it's not powder flying around. So at this point, it's still fairly dry. So see how crumbly it is? It's got to stick together. There's heat on in here. But air is drier, and so it takes more moisture. You can see it's forming a ball. And yes, this is an old KitchenAid mixer. I had to... When I got this used, it had a hook, but it didn't have this paddle, which is really what it takes to mix this. So if this is a little too moist, I can just dip this whole ball into the bag of Peltaya to pick up some dry. But I'm doing scales on the dragon, and I really need it a little softer to work with. So I am going to leave it at this consistency. I'm varying the scales a lot on this dragon just for interest. So I've gone from these big, the scale looking ones to smaller ones on his leg. I've pre-wet the surface so that it will accept this new layer. So I'm going to lay these on here and then I'm going to come back with a sculpting tool and give it a little more definition. Thanks for watching.